trees that grow so fair, old England to adorn. Greater honour beneath the sun than oak and ash and thorn. Sing oak and ash and thorn, good sirs, all of a midsummer's morn. Surely we sing of no little thing in oak and ash and thorn. Oak of the clay live many a day, or ever in the years began. Ash of the loam was a lady at home when Brett was an outlaw man. Thorn of the down, so new Troy town, from which was London born. Witnessed here by the ancient tribe of oak and ash and thorn. Sing oak and ash and thorn, good sirs, all of a midsummer's morn. Surely we sing of no little thing in oak and ash and thorn. You that is old in churchyard mould, he breedeth a mighty bow. All the first shoes do I Hey guys, welcome to the Rural Heathen. Got a bit of a unboxing video for you here today. Uh, I finally went and pulled the trigger on a traditional bow. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's a takedown. But first things first, we are actually now on day six of quarantine. Uh, we had a positive test in the household, so, and it hit a few of us pretty hard. I've been pretty much, a lot of us have been sleeping for the last few days, but we're doing a lot better. Uh, we have a whole nother week of keeping ourselves occupied, because that's what we need to do. And like I said, I decided to finally pull the trigger on one of these. Uh, $189, I got everything you see in the box, I got some extra components with it because I wasn't sure, say, if the bolts came with it, or we'll go through the motions. As you can see, it's already open because there's some damage on the box and I wanted to make sure that nothing was totaled out before getting into it and basically being disappointed. I can tell you the only thing I got wrong is I did not read the fine print and I got the wrong size string. I need a 61 inch string for a long bow. Other than that, let's get to it. Obviously we're open. So, we got a koozie. I haven't been drinking alcohol at all. Some more stuff. Uh, I see a shipping return. Wrong size string. I don't know why. I decided to go with that. That's one thing I selected that I got wrong. I actually just selected the regular Allens with the tool, but they actually sent me thumb screws instead. And these are extras. Because apparently it does come with the thumb screws. So. Moving on to this, this is basically our centerpiece. Pardon me, I'm a little under the weather, so I may sound like crap, and I keep forgetting basically what I'm talking about. But yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful laminate. And it's got all the holes and everything you need to put a quiver sight on and everything, a stabilizer, almost like a compound. I got this because my compound is pretty much wearing out. I can get it tuned, but it seems like every year I have to get it tuned at least once or more. So something, some things are wearing out that I'm not seeing. And I wanted to get back into uh, traditional archery anyway. But yeah, here are the uh, thumb bolts, and that's how they come, it's just like this. They come screwed into there. And we'll put it together so you guys can see it. It's a total of 64 inches. It is the Ghost variant from Southwest Archery. And we'll be doing some extensive testing with this bow throughout the spring. And I had to learn how to shoot it if I'm going to hunt with it at all. Uh, by the time I get out of here, that rut's going to be running. And it's almost going to be gun season anyway. So I'll have plenty of time to practice. One of my arrows was found the other day, and from what it sounds, it was about 20-30 yards lower, so they're not even making it to the deer. So 
that's why I think maybe my compound is not in the greatest shape. But yeah, yeah. right handed. stuff they send what's in your box your warranty for registration I gotta do that and here are the limbs they are pretty much marked this one is the lower that one's the upper <coughs> sorry guys this is a 55 pound model uh, I chose this one because I used to shoot traditional all the time, but my right shoulder I had separated from my ball and socket one year and I had to exercise it on a continuous basis to uh, keep it strengthened up. So I figured this is a good way of doing it. And I can always buy new limbs to lower the poundage if I need to. I mean, it feels like they're a decent quality. You know, made in China, obviously. But what are you gonna do, right? Not bad for what I paid for it. Seem to be pretty precise fit. There's very, there's no wiggle room in there. <coughs> Break stuff right out. This be your video for the week. By the time it rolls around next week, I'll probably actually be able to be outside while coughing, hacking up a storm. And my luck is, because I'm sick, that's when people tend to want to come around. So somebody will find me and talk to me. Always be careful threading these things in. somebody will correct me but from what I know it is a longbow gotta get a different string obviously that one's just too big 61 inch I think is the uh, inch I need on the string I really like the laminate uh, try not to pick it apart but you get things like this right here I don't know if you can see that on the camera that's a little run right there for the clear coating you get little nicks and dings here, so that just means somebody threw, they're basically just thrown together uh, from the looks of it. Like I said, I opened the box because it was damaged. So my guess is that's why they're such cheap on their shipping. It was $8 prior to shipping, so I got here within the week I ordered it. But yeah. I'm hoping to get good at one of these and maybe get something a little more expensive eventually, maybe make my own. I had a few staves in the storage unit that are almost ready to go, that we go by spring. Just need to get the right tools. I just can't wait to get out and shoot this, it's been a while. I'll probably get a arrow rust for it. Maybe something to put the quiver in with, and that'd be about it. I could probably actually use the quiver on my compound now I'm looking at it. But uh, maybe we'll try that later. Alright guys, well, that's going to be it for the video. I'm feeling a hell of a lot better than I was. And uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys later. I'm getting a little short-winded talking, so... Don't mind the sounds, we have cats. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video.